Remember when I said I was a war hero? I lied. Bro, I hate closing shifts. For real, you have to be a special kind of disturbed to be like, Oh yeah, I don't mind closing up. Stop the cap, yes you do! Bruh. I think it'll get easier with time. Ha! No! I mean, if it's not one thing, it's definitely gonna be another from inventory to till county to taking out the garbage to making sure to set the alarm. Basically, there was a crap ton of things that had to be taken care of before you could even think of stepping out that front door. And guess who was always getting stuck with closing shifts? Even when I said I preferred mornings or afternoons. Was it the bear? Don't you disrespect me like that again, you know well it was fully me, what the hell's wrong with you? That's right, me. So, my boss would come in and be like, Howdy gang, who wants to tackle the end of the day shift? And bro, I would always be like, Please don't call me, please don't call me, please don't call me, bro, please don't call me, please don't- Lenny? I'm looking at you, my boy! Fuck! Uh, actually, I was- I'll do it. Great! That's a big help! And at this point, I was literally thinking to myself, Thank God, Beanie Cuss said she's going to- As long as Lenny's able to close up with me. Sounds good to me, I already wrote his name down anyway. What? what? And she had the nerve to tell me, what's with that look? Were you really expecting me to do this by myself? We're supposed to be a two-man team, remember? Bro, ain't this about him? And just like that, I was stuck on closing shifts for the long haul. With Beanie Cup. For four months. And yeah, it sucked. But chilling with Binica after hours was honestly fun. I mean, sometimes we just grab beers, kick back, and just vibe about stuff. Only one thing honestly made the experience trash. You don't know me! Bruh. My ass! My rules! The fact that we had a local hobo who was always just kind of bumming around the plaza. You see, in my plaza, we had a huge liquor store. It's probably one of the larger buildings in the area. And typically, from time to time, you'd see some sketchy folks just hanging outside of it. And the number one infamous reoccurring character, let's just call him... Stick. Seriously, nobody knew this guy's name and he stunk to high heaven. In fact, uh, mm, should I tell this part of the story? It's kind of... You know what? Screw it. I was legit traumatized by this, so y'all have to be too. See, one day, there was a lady who kept making multiple trips to the liquor store. And Sticky was just kind of chilling outside of there as per usual. So, according to this lady, when he first saw her, That case of beer looks heavy. And later on, the second time he saw her, It's a nice day for a cold one, ain't it? And by the third, according to her, he just kept getting more aggressive till... Give me your beer! Bro, she literally ran from the liquor store right into our shop. Bianca quickly told her, uh, sorry ma'am, we're gonna be clothing soon. Hey, I don't mean to bother you, but there's this crazy guy outside. Me and Bianca looked at each other and we're just like, what man? Because clearly no one was out there. What do you mean? He was just right there! Sticky pops out of nowhere, slamming his face on the glass, and he's just like, Give me what you owe me, I'm a war hero! Bianca quickly locks the door and then she turns to me and says, Len, call the cops! R right and just before I could dial, all you hear is the sound of clothes coming off. I look over, and to my horror, my absolute horror, bro, I see Sticky's wrinkly bare cheeks on the damn glass. This is how I knew I was basically in a hostage situation. What are you doing? Stop laughing your ass off and call the police! Len, hurry! Remember when I said I was a war hero? I lied. What followed after that, the owner himself had to come by and clean up. It was a pretty crappy situation, if you know. So, fast forward a few months, and we haven't seen eye nor tail of Sticky. And honestly, that was for the best. The plaza was way better off without him. So, Sticky actually ended up getting arrested, and apparently had a restraining order placed against him by several different business owners in that plaza. My boss filed a police report as well. It was a whole type of pain in the ass kind of thing. She asked if I was okay, and I said yeah. She said that's good. I'm glad that you are. She then asked me if I want to go back to her place for a bit. And bro, do you know what I said? Uh... Okay. Yo, what up, Prinster? It's Lenster. Hey guys, sorry this one took so long to get out. I've actually been dealing with a lot of personal family things on my end, so things have been pretty, um... 
kind of crazy for real but anyway i'm gonna do my best to keep pressing on i also want to say shout out to zipkey my homie for featuring in this video that was also really awesome of her guys i'm actually going to be working on a lot more content moving forward i just had to take care of a lot of things on my end so yeah that's basically what that was hey anyway do me a favor if you made it this far in the video damn you are a trooper and if you're new you might as well hit that like button and subscribe so you can uh, you know keep up with me and see what's going on uh, in the next one and with that being said guys take care of yourselves and have yourselves a damn good one and i will talk to you very soon i promise we got way more animations coming down the pipe all right y'all take care later